so yesterday we have discussed the process of how the deconsolidation uh, will happen probably i think uh, we have seen the entire flow in the system what exactly we are trying to do and what kind of the tasks and other information we will try to repeat that process again and then we will try to see another uh, uh, significant understanding of another way of working as well for the same process and then we will try to move on to the next process of the value added services okay so firstly okay so this is the delivery that we have received it in the ewm system and uh, we have to check what kind of an handling unit that we have received we have received a handling unit of this one where we have both the products of decon 1 and decon 2 okay have packed in the same particular pallet now what are we trying to do for this particular scenario we are trying to make sure that we are trying to unload it okay from your vehicle so first we are trying to create a warehouse task for that the handling units here if you observe it clearly there are two things actually okay if if you see this the system is trying to pick out from one of the door that got assigned automatically and from that door it is trying to move to the one of the staging areas fair enough however if i try to save this you're getting in uh, a message of a three warehouse tasks getting created so indeed what is happening in this particular scenario <laughs> Like you can see that the system has created a three warehouse tasks. What is the three warehouse tasks? First one is your IB01 task, and the second two tasks are your IB03 tasks. Okay, so the IB02 tasks are nothing but these are the tasks which gets created for your final put away based on your search strategies. If you can see that. Okay, from but this particular door from 9030 to INB from that door, it is trying to go to the bins, okay, DEC4 and DEC5, ideally, okay. However, but indeed, this particular fields gets changed, okay, what I'm trying to say for sure. 
I'll try to drag it to the first. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you see this, and these are all your tasks, IB01 and IB03. So these are the three tasks that got created. However, if you see the status here, the status for the first one, which is for the IB01, is in the open tasks and your IB03 or your waiting tasks. Why? Because in between this IB01 and IB03, we do have an IB02, which is your deconsolidation activity. That's the reason. Upon confirming your IB02 tasks, then only your IB03 tasks will be opened. So that is something where we will try to see that now. So what we are trying to do here, this is your IB01, 10875. If you click on your HU warehouse task, okay, from this particular, the door storage type, it is moving to your staging area. So upon I confirm this, okay, as soon as I confirm this, maybe let me just go back and I'll confirm it from the monitor transaction so you can understand what is a subsequent action is happening. I'll just try to confirm it in the background, okay. Upon I confirm that, okay, fair enough. The system will automatically will trigger an IB02 task. Okay, so what is that? Now you see this. Initially, the storage type was triggering from 9030, but after we confirm your IB01 task, it has triggered to a 9010. Okay, so this is something which gets changed every time when we confirm the tasks. Okay, because ideally this task needs to happen from 8010, not from 9010. However, let me also confirm this IP02 task. So what is this IP? 